Here's post parade for the first Breeders' Crown elimination. Kibitzer Hanover number one is trained and driven by Jim Tactor for owner John Fielding. Races with Trotting Hopples this race and all past performances. Two is Missy's Goldfire. Jan Janssen is the trainer and driver for owner Robert Waxman. Dan Clements, trainer of three, Karina's Mission, owned by Prince Lee Acres, driven by Randall Waples. Jim Matinas driving the Dirk Simpson trained Malamoni 4. Co owners Wright, Simpson, Langfelder, and Mystical Marker Farms. Brian Pinsky co owns and trains five, Hottest Star, Mike Lachance driving, co owner is Tom Crouch. Six, Symphony Hanover, Mickey McNichol, trained by Bernard Grignola for Dream With Me Stable. Ends tag session seven, trained and driven by Bob Blanton for Eli Solomon. Ron Gerfine, trainer of eight, Glide Path, Eric Ledford driving for Brittany Farms. Spank and New is paraded, number nine with John Campbell, owned and trained by Gary Matches, co-owners Leon Matches and Barry Rubenstein Farms. And Norm Jones is the trainer of 10 Queen of Stormont for Stormont Meadows, driven by Trevor Ritchie. It's the first elimination of the 2001 Breeders' Crown, two-year-old Philly Trot, the top five finishers to move on to the final, under five minutes to post time. The first race, first elimination of the 2001 Breeders' Crown two-year-old Philly Trot. Here they come. There, off and trotting, gapped out from the field as the gate got away was Malamoni. First surging to the front goes Symphony Hanover. Off stride, Karina's mission leaving out of there. That's Kibitzer Hanover moving on through. Symphony Hanover way out wide came Queen of Stormont to contest the early tempo and Missy's Goldfire trotted in from fifth. Glide Path is sixth away. Seventh to the inside for Hottest Star, then ends tag session. Crossing over in the backfield and taking a seat eight with Spankin New. Karina's mission has landed back down trotting. Malamoni is distant but has landed back down trotting. Kibitzer Hanover attacked her head the quarter, 26 and 4. The inquiry sign is posted from the start of the first race. They sweep into the back stretch. And it's Kibitzer Hanover on the lead. Off stride, Queen of Stormont. Ranging up on the outside, ends tag session. Comes on and now shows second Symphony Hanover closing the hole along the inside third. Three more lengths to Missy's goal fire. Trotting in from fourth. Glide path is the fifth one. Close to five more lengths to Hottest Star racing from six. Bank and new seventh and off stride queen of stormont well back in eighth karina's mission is off stride from ninth and out of contention since the outset malamoni 58 and one was the half 31 and two second quarter into the last three eighths kibitzer hanover leading ends tag session grinding away on the outside getting the pocket was symphony hanover and right there in the top four has been missy's goal fire there's glide path tipping to the outside from fifth it's four more lengths to the sixth one on the final turn who is hottest star then after breaks, it's Queen of Stormont on that final turn. Out of contention, Spankin' New, Karina's Mission, and Malamoni. They turn for home off three quarters, 129 and two. Here's the stretch drive of the first 2001 crown elimination. Two-year-old trotting fillies ends tag session first over. Had a brief lead, glide path, and here comes Missy's goal fire on the far outside. It's glide path, taking a short lead and coming down to the wire. Glide path to win the first crown elimination by about a head on a surging Missy's goal fire. Ends tag session was third. Symphony Hanover fourth. Kibitzer Hanover looking to stay for fifth. Glide path 159 and one with the photo and inquiry signs posted.